Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to Trending Wood. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do this church flyer from scratch using your Pixel Lab. Everything you're seeing here, every that you're seeing here was done on Pixel Lab. Everything. So for the materials being used in the video, check check in the description of the video. You will see the materials. You will see a link that will enable you to get the material. Now let me just hide it then starts the main job so the first stage i imported the background but if i did not see the background we also work with pure white background okay rotate it that's the first stage then you drag it let me change the main background to be white so that we'll see the edges of what we are doing. Yes. Then the second thing I did was to enter shapes. That second. Let me change. Let me change the color of the shape from here so that you will see what I'm doing. Okay. Sorry. Let me amend it first. This is the first shape. Then from this shape, now you duplicate it so that you will get aligned. You will get exactly same size of the shape. Enter your color, enable. Now you want to pick a color. Tap on your um, plus sign. Tap on here. Tap on the design. Use this stuff to pick your color. Take it upwards. Align it very well. Then the next thing you do also copy that one again. Repeat same process in terms of picking the colors. Then what you just do now is to just click on the tree, then centralize it. Okay. Now for the sake of the image you're seeing there, for the sake of their reputation and everything, I won't be using the image. I'll be using a different image or if I use it, I'll change the color to be black, something like that. But if I, okay, I still have the image. Let me just use them, sure. So you bring your image, you drag your image, then you drop it. Now at this moment, so what you're focusing on is just the box. Make sure the image did not exceed the shape that you've created at that moment. You pick the second one. You also what? You also increase increase it bring it to the back you also want to reduce the size if you observe now how wig now is giving her more this thing how wig is giving her more and this thing so because of that you can reduce the size of the other um, medicine images that you're working with just because of this one so that you there will be an alignment in what you're doing there now you can lock it then the last one you import your image now sometimes what determines the size of picture on a design is the picture you're working with now there are some pictures that are very bad so for you to get an alignment exact alignment you consider some of those pictures they just consider some of those pictures then use those pictures to work with the rest pictures now some pictures, some pictures will bend like this now. What you do, you straight them. But that will be for another day. Probably my next video will be on al alignment. So just arrange this image properly. Take this one to the back also. Then the next thing you do now is to enter your shapes. 
the next thing you are going to do now is how to fade how to fade your your this thing your background with your job now this side now make it to be transparent i see then make it to be transparent then bring in a little bit inside then this side bring a little bit outside then you leave it like that then what you do now you drag it like this Then change it to be pure white. Are you seeing? Change it to be pure white. Then what you do now? Create another shape to complete your alignment. To complete your alignment now the next thing you do now is now that stuff you're seeing there is being called rough edges rough shape edges that's the name of that stuff you're seeing here so what you do now you drag it then drop it on it then you centralize them change the color or if possible pick the color and let's just let us just pick the color pick the color i see then i enter your team the team is what come up So just go to your fonts, choose a perfect font that will that will fit what you're doing. Just choose a perfect font okay, that will that will fit what you're doing. Increase the size. Increase the size, turn it to white. Turn it to white, then we take it upwards. Then the next thing you do now is import import the next shapes, which is this one. Reduce the size. Reduce the size, then drop it on top of this other one. Then what you do now is you make it change the shape that you just added, change it to any color that is outside the white background. Are you seeing that outside the white background? Then make the this scene stroke it. This is where the technique. Uh, what is it called? technicality comes in then make it to be black and purple i get in me then what you do now you match them together match them together match them together be lock it then the next thing you do now go to your erase color erase it now what will happen is that your white will go off because automatically erase color simply means erase anything that is white or anything that is plain what you do now, tap on your one, you tap here, then you tap on what you do this in, the stuff that you emerge, then tap on, tap on the this in. Oh, sorry, let's go back. I made a mistake somewhere. Sorry, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Sorry, please. Let's go back. Now, make your shapes to be white. Let your shapes be white, then your stroke should be black. Then you merge them together. Then I go to your erase color. Go to your erase color. The white will go off. Tap here, tap here. Bring it back. Use your this thing to select the black color. Tap OK. 
are you seeing that we've gotten what we needed what is just nice to just work on it a little bit then you place it properly now let me check what we've not done on this flyer what we've not done we'll bring it upwards let me check okay now so now for the dates you just enter your stroke change it to black then you use the picker pick it then bring it downwards that's where you put your dates and everything also do the same bring it downwards that's where you put your dates tap it take it upwards there there now you put your dates then this side now you put the name of the church then concerning the other aspects the youth the youth stuff that you're seeing they have already created that one so what i did was to just import it i've created it already so the only thing i did was to just import it to the flyer this is how i created it so the only thing i did was to import it then choose a color that will rhyme which is purple then i drop it here that was the only thing i did so guys this is how the flyer was being done so please kindly subscribe thank you for watching see you guys in my next video let me check if there's anything we've not done again okay we've done everything you just put the name of the youth the icon is there the service is a font on its own the name of the church you just put it there place it align it very well so guys please kindly subscribe again thank you for watching check the description of this video you will see link that will take you to download all the materials that i use in this video thank you guys